hello hello how are you uh jesus disciple school so uh we have i want us to go through matthew 12. so so far we have covered matthew 1 to 11 and we are learning a lot um and i believe that we're gonna sit our exams and i believe to uh see flying colors in our class amen we are gonna be crowned amen we are gonna be crowned we are gonna be graduated by the kingdom of heaven Remember, we are kingdom inheritors, amen? But before we become that, we're in the world and somebody spoke a word to us and saved us and now we belong to the kingdom of God. But for me, your teacher, it took me years to understand what I'm teaching you today. So um, Matthew 7, Matthew 12. Uh, we may not have, I'm, I'm going to speak for, this video is going to be very brief, like between four to six minutes amen so matthew uh seven one of the students will tell us why are we learning the gospel of jesus christ why are we reading i don't even want to use the word gospel because people don't understand what it means why are we reading the teachings of jesus yeah so uh matthew chapter 12 i'm gonna read the most important i'm gonna read it and then I'll send the audio explaining what I have learned. And will you yourself, you can learn something. You can go back again and read and read and read. He says, then on the day, on a day of worship, Jesus walked. Let me sit well. I apologize. My, my gadgets are coming. So. Then on a day of worship, Jesus walked through the grain fields. It was a Sunday and Jesus went to a farm. It was a working day and Jesus walked to a farm. He didn't go to a worship center, but he walked to a farm. And his disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of the grain, of, grain to eat. Like how you walk in a maize plantation. Uh, or corn plantation, as the Americans say. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing something that is not right um, to do on that day of worship. Like literally, what are they doing? You're supposed to be fasting. You're supposed to be in church. But you're, you're just here breaking our corn and eating our corn. He says, Jesus said to them, Haven't you read what David did when he and his men broke bread? So you people, you don't know, uh, none of us knows David. But I'm going to skip a little bit there. So he was trying to read, read it up to eight. So he was trying to tell them that, hey, you have to improvise. If you're hungry, you have to eat. It doesn't mean you are a thief, but it is needed. You eat. Um, so you improvise. And also he's trying to show them, yes, yes, I know it is Sunday. It is worship day. But for us, we're going to the field. Let me show you what happened. Uh-huh. Jesus moved on from there and went into a synagogue. Now from there, he went to a church. Um, a man with a paralyzed hand was there. The people asked Jesus whether it was right to heal on a day of worship so that they could accuse him of doing something wrong. Jesus said to them, suppose one of you has a sheep. If it falls into a pit on a day of worship, wouldn't you take hold of it and lift it out? Certainly a human is more valuable than a sheep. A human is more valuable than a sheep. Uh -huh. So it is right to do good on the day of worship. So on the day of worship, you're used to going to church, cooking food and eating. But if you find a lame man, heal him. If you want somebody discouraged, deliver them. If you, um, you know, you can heal the sick, you can pray for people, you can give food, you can do anything you want because you're not controlled by some regulations that you don't even understand. What is trying to demonstrate here? Finding food when you're hungry, it is saving a life. Healing the sick, it is saving a life. Um, maybe, I mean, you're not under so many rules if you follow up Jesus. You can also refer to Mark 3, 1 and 16. Jesus moved on from there. Okay. Then he said to them, hold out your hand, said to the man. And the man held out his hand and, and became no more again um, as healthy as the other. So, I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to send uh, the, 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 the audio uh, uh, reading in detail. So I want to tell you this. What Jesus 
desires of us as disciples is to heal, to save lives by using the Holy Spirit and wisdom. I tell people, the Bible says that those who are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. You must be led. Jesus was led by the Spirit to go to the vine, to go to the corn or maize plantation. He did not lead himself. And he went with his disciples. He never led himself. So you must know how are you going to be led by the Holy Spirit. Wake up and pray when everybody is quiet. Get your Bible and get a word that saves a life. Walk outside the house. You can bump into somebody that needs healing. Heal them. You bump into somebody that needs salvation. Serve them. Bump into somebody that is demon possessed. Cast out the devils. Bump into somebody that has a family that is breaking in tatters. Serve them. I'm Rachel Geller, your trainer. And I'm going to send an audio.